When we make music, we do it to improve your mind, to improve your character, and brings us into a state of peace where we can understand that the point of life is simply here and now. The journey itself is the point. The playing itself is the point. You will simply become completely absorbed in sound, and therefore you will find yourself living in an eternal now, in which there is no past, and there is no future. It all becomes one happening. There's a little bit you can hear chirping away, I'm not sure if you can see them. Oh, in fact, there's one just flying up towards the front of the boat now. So that's some ice to catch it. And uh, yeah, small black and white bird with a very long and thin orange beak. Now they use this beak to forage in, in and amongst the rocks to find their food. Now these birds thrive in the intertidal zone, so when the tide drops and, and exposes all of the rocks that are normally submerged, that's where they find their food. And they pretty much just eat mollusks and uh, crustaceans. But yeah, you quite often hear those birds before you see them. Now we're up in the hill further again on the right hand side, you can see Nana's cave. Now this is the largest out of three ancient inhabited caves that we have here on Colgan. It was first excavated back in 1911 and it continued in three more stages up until the late 1970s. Upon the excavations they discovered remains of three human skeletons, two of which dated back approximately 10,000 years ago to the Middle Stone Ages and one to the late Romano-British period. As well as the skeletons they also found early Neolithic tools and bowls along with the remains of animals which have long since been extinct on the island, including a thigh bone that belongs to a woolly mammoth. Now all the findings were carbon dated and preserved, and uh, they're now available to see in the island abbey or in Tembe Museum, both of which are well worth a visit. Yeah. 
where we can understand that the point of life is simply here and now. The journey itself is the point. The playing itself is the point. You will simply become completely absorbed in sound and therefore you will find yourself living in an eternal now in which there is no past and there is no future. It all becomes one happening.
members of the Gold family, and they quite often swoop in in attempts to try and steal the eggs. It will just give them a good chance to fend off the threats. And these birds have got very short wingspans as you can see, but they do have a rapid wing beat, which means that once they're in the air they're flying around, they're very agile. Likewise when they're in the water and they're swimming around diving down, they're quite nimble, much like a penguin. Uh, a short wingspan does mean that they struggle to take off and land. And this is another reason that they, uh, they nest on the cliff edges. So that when they want to take off, they can simply hop out of the nest, they'll dive straight down until they, uh, they've gained enough speed and momentum to fly properly. And they'll simply reverse that process in order to land. Now, the short wingspan, it does mean that these birds are quite clumsy. The slower they are, the, la the less control they have. They quite often bump into the eggs when they, uh, when they come to land. And with that in mind, the eggs are actually conical shaped. And, uh, the chick inside the egg is actually right at the very top, right at the very top point of the egg. And everything underneath the fluid it acts as uh, it acts as weight to weigh the egg down. So when they do accidentally bump into the eggs, they kind of just stay put in a very low center of gravity. So, um, it definitely helps them stay, uh, stay, we stay up on the cliff. Now we do get a third member of the Hawk family, and that's the puffin. Unfortunately though, we do see those in much fewer numbers, and we put that down to a big rat infestation that St. Margaret's Island had many years ago. We would come over on supply boats from the mainland, and then we would there and call the islands that were going to St. Margaret's. And unlike the cliff nesting birds, puff bear their eggs slightly higher up than to the level ground. And this meant they were more susceptible, more accessible to the rats. So yeah, they nearly decimated the puffin population. We did see a massive decline in numbers. But since 2018, a big operation prior to that had, run, had eradicated the rent. And since then we have started to see numbers increase. And at the moment there's around four breeding pairs. Not very many. And to put that into context for you, 20 miles west of here there's an island called Skoma.
music. We do it to improve your mind, to improve your character, and brings us into a state of peace where we can understand that the point of life is simply here and now. The journey itself is the point. The playing itself is the point. You will simply become completely absorbed in sound, and therefore you will find yourself living in an eternal now, in which there is no past, and there is no future. It all becomes one happening. When we make music, we do it to improve your mind, to improve your character, and brings us into a state of peace where we can understand that the point of life is simply here and now. The journey itself is the point. The playing itself is the point. You will simply become completely absorbed in sound, and therefore you will find yourself living in an eternal now, in which there is no past, and there is no future. It all becomes one happening.